Hello, Vettel121 here, welcome back, and we are Let's Playing Dragon Quest V. And I know I said something about exploring the mountain range on the way to Grand Vania, but I figured we'd take, you know, a couple episodes to screw around and go to previous towns and locations, and, uh, I've actually been exploring this town now, and I actually found that we can buy something else here. And yes, we can get a heal slime sash for 5,000 gold, not 10,000. I don't know why. This guy is always thinking about selling us stuff for 10,000. But at least he changes his mind and yeah, we can get a heal slime sash for 5,000 gold. Now, this is actually a, uh, a collectible, I believe. Yeah, and you can also use it as armor. So that's kind of nice. I guess I could give it to my... Uh, yeah, best who can equip it. I guess I can give it to my King Slime character, Marco, for now. Yeah, it's a little bit better defense. I don't know if it has any, like, special things it can do, like, in battle or something like that, but maybe eventually I'll actually stick it in the collectible museum, but yeah, right now I'm not too worried about that. Let's see if the Oracle has anything to say to us that's different. I think the last time I tried coming to this granny oracle here, she, uh, well, she didn't really have anything good to say. Yes, I see it now. You're searching for someone. Don't worry, you'll find this person. But it won't be until the end of a long journey. You'll need plenty of allies to help you. Well, gee, thanks. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Let's talk to you. Knowing when to quit. Yeah, absolutely. No, we're not going to be gambling. Alright, I'm going to go to the next area of interest. Alright, we're going to explore this cathedral. I totally forgot... Uh, no, the abbey, whatever. I totally forgot what this place is called, but whatever. This is a nameless a Oh, it doesn't have any. Well, okay then, that's probably why I can't remember the name of it. Yeah. What's wrong with being friendly, Bianca? There's nothing wrong with being friendly. Anyways, let's, uh, let's explore this place again. Oh, well, I hope I'll make a good husband. Okay, Bianca. Yeah, it is fun to think about. Maintain a strict lifestyle by making all our own food and clothing. Embrace life and love this world. That's the first lesson of our Abbey. And apparently Bianca has nothing to say about that. So, whatever. Um, yeah, let's go this way now. up the stairs. There you go. It's Henry got himself hitched, and now it's your turn, Vet. Huh, <laughs> Vet. How can they say I don't look like your wife when I'm standing right, th right here? <laughs> yeah, I suppose. I mean, you do kind of look like my wife, I guess. I mean, you know. Maria returned to the Abbey. It was only a few days before Prince Henry showed up. It's completely shocked that Henry is really the Prince of Reinhardt. Oh, that's news to me. Henry never seemed like royalty to me. Uh, you knew he was royalty. What are you talking about? Sissy Maria's prince came riding in on a white horse for her. And then she got married. It's so romantic. Yeah. Talking about Henry, isn't she? He really went all out, didn't he? Yeah, I guess so. Got the white horse and everything. Yeah, I don't need to talk to that priest up there, but yeah, I'm going to be doing some screwing around, just doing party talk, talking to different people in the towns or whatever. I probably could have talked to more people in uh, Oracle Berry or whatever, but well, maybe I might. I think I might actually go back there. But yeah, I mean, it would take probably a long time to uh, do all that kind of stuff, so... I might, I might not. If I find something of interest, then maybe I will. 
Even as a woman, I'm a little nervous coming to this abbey. So many judgmental ladies. It's got my heart pounding. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure these nuns, nuns are uh, pretty judgmental. They probably uh, kind of look down on you a little bit. You know, because you're kind of a tomboy and do your own thing. And you're not really, really, uh, that's where I'm looking for, religious or anything like that. So, there you go. What? You actually bought the heel slime sash? That's amazing! If I were you, I'd treat that like it belongs in a museum. Oh. Well, actually, I'd rather treat it like armor right now, but whatever. Yeah, we're back in Oracle Berry. I'm exploring the inn area, talking to people. I figure, you know, might as well do that, because uh, I do know that, that in the uh, original Dragon Quest V for the Super Famicom, uh, there was no party talk. Um, I think I already have the Legendary Shield. Yeah, probably not. I mean, you know, we're gonna have to find other ways to acquire that stuff, and... Man. And I probably already found most of the items in these areas or whatever, but... You know, I think I'd figure... I figured I'd screw around in a few episodes, try and find some items before we move on with the plot and all that kind of stuff. That way I can actually record like a few episodes and I have to worry about, you know, somebody going, Oh crap, you should have done this, or oh crap, you should have done this at this part, or whatever, or you missed this item. Because yeah, I'm not really recording ahead, obviously, with this LP, I'm just kind of... As I go, you know, just record a video, post it, see what comments I get, and... Apparently this guy is really mad that I bought a heel slime sash because he can't afford one. Uh, yeah, I guess it is lovely that the knights worry about his wife. But yeah, you know, I, I, I like doing a little party talk here because, you know, why not? It wasn't in the original game, so... Life of a pro. Really? A fine innkeeper's wife, huh? Well, I suppose. And, no, I don't want to... Yeah, this guy is annoying because he doesn't want to let us walk through. Uh, instead, he forces us to buy stuff, except I just ignore him anyways. But it's still annoying! Hey, what's wrong with being a sir? I don't mind being called sir. Yeah, I've noticed that with people. They've always, you know, like, with women especially, I, always, I notice when they get called ma'am, they get really, really pissed off because, you know, they're, like, not old or something like that. Um, no, Bianca, you're not an old woman. Seriously, it's okay. Yeah, I don't understand that. I really, really, really do not understand that. Um, yes? What, you're gonna tell our fortune during the day, too? I thought we had to wait for night to get that kind of thing. Okay, yeah, you're saying the same crap. Blah, 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 blah. And Bianca has nothing to say about the fortune teller. Well, that's fine, I guess. Did I go down this well? You know, I, I can't even remember half the stuff, you know, because it's been so long. But, yeah, I've probably been down here before. Come on, go up the freaking road. And this big area right here, I don't think I actually did explore yet. So let's go inside. Talk to this guy. He's sleeping. Only somebody who works at night should be sleeping like this in the middle of the afternoon. Maybe he does work at night, Bianca. But yeah, I don't understand the whole thing where people get pissed off, you know, being called sir or ma'am or it makes them feel old. It doesn't bother me. The only time it bothers me is when I'm in uh, military uniform and somebody calls me sir. 
You know, I have a smart ass remark for it. No thanks, don't call me sir, I actually work for a living. If you've been in the military, you actually know what I'm talking about. Because if you're enlisted, you most likely don't like officers, and I don't care if an officer is watching this. I'm enlisted. I automatically don't like you until you prove otherwise. If you weren't enlisted to begin with, and you're an officer, I have no respect for you. Gotta start somewhere, man. That's all I'm saying. Really. Everyone should be working during the day. People in the casino during the day worry me. Why do they worry you? Well, I suppose we could go in the casino and see what Bianca has to say about the casino here in Orkberry and all that good stuff. So yeah, you know, I, don't, I hope you guys don't mind me screwing around, you know, just... Obviously I'm going to be going to other locations where I probably missed items in future episodes from now, but whatever. And I'll be right back. Alright, let's explore the rest of the uh, casino here. Yeah. Yeah. That is very true. And you probably are going to lose there, aren't you, guy? Ooh, wait a minute. I gotta see, I gotta see how uh, she reacts to this. <laughs> Going back here. Don't run us through our things, okay? Yeah, sure. Whatever. What? Yeah, okay, let's take a peek, even though I already have, I think. Yeah, I think I already got the items in here. She says they're changing, but it looks like they're all doing is gunking up down their makeup. What's wrong, Vet? You were expecting to see something different. Cool. Hmm. I think that the owner will give traveling troop the lunch performance. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know, that wasn't the reaction that I was thinking you were going to be getting by talking to those girls, but whatever. Oops. There's some kind of show going on or some kind of crap. Oh, well, you can, Bianca. Huh? Um, probably not. What's this guy doing then? I guess so. Um, can you? <laughs> I don't know if you can. No, I'm not. Yeah. What? Give up on life? Wow, that's messed up. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes old people can get like that. Since they've lived long lives, they think they know everything, which uh, usually isn't the case. Which can be annoying. Not saying all old people are like that, but a lot of them are. Yeah. And you have to have as much fun as you as you can while you're alive. Yeah, I guess so. Don't want to have too much fun though.
Alright, I think I'm done for this town. Alright, that's all for this episode. In the next episode, we'll actually explore more previous locations and see if we can talk to more people, do some more party talk, and maybe get some items that I missed. This is Vettel121. See you next time.